If you think that the Earth where we live is a big place, you should know the Earth isn't even the biggest planet in our solar system. Today we will learn about our solar system. Our extended home. So, what is the solar system? The solar system includes the Sun, the Earth and all of the other planets, asteroids and comets that go around and around it. At the center of the solar system is a star called the Sun. Everything in our solar system revolves around the Sun. The Sun is a massive ball of hot gas that gives off light and heat. A planet is a large body of either rock or gas that follows around a star. The planets travels around the Sun in a loop. All of the planets and the Sun are round, like balls. There are eight planets that orbit around the Sun. Let us see what they are. Mercury. The smallest planet in our solar system and nearest to the Sun, Mercury is only slightly larger than Earth's moon. Standing on Mercury, our star would appear more than three times larger than it does on Earth. Mercury has no moons. It is unlikely that life, as we know it could survive on Mercury due to solar radiation and extreme temperatures. Venus The second planet from the Sun and is Earth's closest planetary neighbor. It is often called Earth's twin because it's similar in size. Venus is permanently shrouded in thick, toxic clouds of sulfuric acid that start at an altitude of 28 to 43 miles. The clouds smell like rotten eggs. Because Venus rotates backward on its axis, the sun rises in the west and sets in the east, opposite of what we see on Earth. Because it's so bright and easy to see in the sky, Venus is known as the morning and the evening star. Earth. Our home planet is the third planet from the Sun, and the only place we know of so far that's inhabited by living things. It is also the only planet in our solar system that contains liquid water. We have one moon that goes around us. Earth is the perfect place for life as we know it. Mars. The fourth planet from the Sun, the dusty, cold, desert world with a very thin atmosphere. Mars is known as the red planet because iron minerals in the Martian soil oxidize, or rust, causing the atmosphere to look red. Mars is a rocky planet. Its solid surface has been altered by volcanoes, impacts, winds, crustal movement, and chemical reactions. Mars is the only planet where we've sent rovers to roam the alien landscape. Fifth in line from the Sun, Jupiter is, by far, the largest planet in the solar system more than twice as massive as all the other planets combined. Eleven Earths could fit across Jupiter's. If Earth were the size of a grape, Jupiter would be the size of a basketball. Jupiter is a gas giant and lacks an Earth-like surface. If it has a solid inner core at all, it's likely only about the size of Earth. Jupiter has more than 75 moons. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in our solar system. Adorned with thousands of beautiful ringlets, Saturn is unique among the planets. Saturn is a gas giant planet and therefore does not have a solid surface like Earth's. Saturn has the most spectacular ring system with seven ring systems. Saturn has 53 known moons, with an additional 29 moons awaiting confirmation, makes a total of 82 moons. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun, and has the third largest diameter in our solar system. It was the first planet found with the aid of a telescope. Uranus is an ice giant. Most of its mass is made of, of icy materials water, methane and ammonia above a small rocky core. Uranus cannot support life as we know it. Like Venus, Uranus rotates east to west. But Uranus is unique in that it also rotates on its side. Dark, cold, and whipped by supersonic winds, ice giant Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet in our solar system. Neptune is the only planet in our solar system not visible to the naked eye and the first to be predicted by mathematics before its discovery. 
Most of Neptune's mass is icy materials water, methane and ammonia above a small rocky core. Neptune has five main rings, which are clumps of dust and debris likely formed by the gravity of a nearby moon. Neptune's atmosphere is made up mostly of molecular hydrogen, atomic helium and methane. This concludes our lesson today on solar system and planets. Hope you enjoyed it. See you in another video. Bye-bye.